Good evening. Police in Crawford County are on the lookout for a murder suspect tonight. That suspect wanted in connection with the killing of an 82-year-old man. It's a developing story at 5 o'clock. Pennsylvania State Police are looking for this man, 36-year-old Kenneth Martell. Martell is a suspect in the murder of 82-year-old Theodore Garver. Police believe that the murder took place in the victim's home on Parker Road in Beaver Township in western Crawford County. Police found the body about a mile away near Reed's Corner Road, not far from the Ohio line. Jackie Roberts has been following the story. She filed this report. It's still an active scene in Springboro, and as crews are investigating, they have all of Parker Road blocked off from one end to the other. This is the street that investigators believe the homicide took place. In a rural community like Springboro, residents tell us news travels fast. And Tuesday morning, they knew something was wrong on Parker Road. Somebody killed my landlord. I knew he didn't die of his own cause or they wouldn't be cautioning it off. Someone had to find him, right? In a home on this street is where police believe 82-year-old Theodore Garver was killed Monday night. Investigators recovered his body at an adjacent street in an area off of Reed's Corner Road. Those who knew Garver say he would have been defenseless in this situation. Ted can't hear real good. He always sleeps if someone walked in on him. He might wake up and be startled and they kill him. And he don't have nothing to take. He's just a wonderful, wonderful guy, smart as a whip. The discovery of Garver's body led to charges being filed against another Springboro resident, 36-year-old Kenneth Edwin Martell. Police say he planned to rob the victim, then disposed of the body. The suspect is still at large, and the Pennsylvania State Police out of Meadville are looking for information on his whereabouts. And again, this is an open investigation, and authorities say they need your help tracking down the suspect. For now, reporting in Springboro, Jackie Roberts, Jet 24 Action News. Okay, Jackie, thank you. Uh,